morning, everybody. It's 43 degrees, a little chilly out there, but clear skies is going to make it a beautiful day. Also, the humidity has dropped uh, right now. You may not feel it, but you'll feel it this afternoon as we picked up that north wind yesterday and everything finally cleared out. How long was it that we didn't see the sun? A uh, week and a half. We were just soupy all week. The remember the weekend. Well, we did get up to 72 yesterday once the sun cleared and we actually got one hundredth of an inch of rain today. It's a very different situation. High pressures on top of us, giving us these clear cold nights. So from 43 at the airport to 38 in Kingsville, 40 up in the George West area, a light windbreaker you need in the morning. But then by afternoon, you're going to lose it because we're looking for abundant sunshine. Now the north winds have settled down and slowly today, well, well, not, not today, but by tomorrow, they're going to turn around to the south. In fact, they're going to get fairly strong. That's what's going to make a big difference on our week and weekend weather. But there you see it. No clouds over the area. Everything's finally blown away. We finally get to thaw out a little bit from that cold winter. The old frontal system from yesterday is way out here. High pressures in control. That's going to give us the nice weather. But you see the west coast? Yeah. This is actually the storm that hit uh, Hawaii a couple days ago. Now it's going to be hitting Northern California and then it's going to be hitting much of the West Coast. At this point in time, the storm should be going over us, but we're going to get a southwest wind ahead of it. And that's a hot wind for us. That's why we're looking for temperatures to actually zoom for a couple of days. So these are the current temperatures around the country from uh, the 59 in Louisiana or New Orleans to 43 for us to minus 12 in Minot, North Dakota. Why not in Minot? Anyway, uh, we are looking for no wind advisories for us today, but they do have fire weather warnings throughout much of North Texas where the storm is getting a little bit stronger. And you see all of these watches and warnings, all winter related storms. In fact, they're probably going to see five to six feet of new snow in the Western mountains. They've been needing the snow, but boy, they didn't think they'd get it all in one month. Here's a view for us as we are looking at the dry air rolling over Texas. No moisture around here until possibly Saturday. And that's when the next front comes in. Now for today, 68, but for tomorrow with that south wind, 78. And then about 79 in the city on Friday. Uh, you're going to be back to wearing your, you know, uh, flip flops and, uh, and sandals. Uh, Saturday is looking really good, a little on the breezy side out of the southwest. But Saturday night, this front comes in. It's not powerful, but it will bring some clouds and slightly cooler weather for the early part of next week. So winter is not completely over with just yet. Seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy.